Hello everyone. So it's 1037 and I got 22 or 23 minutes. Let's see, I just got out the shower until I have to pack up and leave and be back on the streets. So I've been wearing the same clothes and then having to, um, you know, walk, take a bath and wear the same clothes and re wear them again, you, you know. I mean, I have to wear certain clothes and then take a bath and then wear them again. I'm sorry, it's like, the Sorry. But, um, so, so, I'm so sorry, I'm just itching everywhere, you know, but, so, this video, I needed to make sure I had my whole, at least, 20 minutes to rant about this. So, Facebook is so damn confusing and full of drama. I don't even like that word drama. I don't like to use that word drama. But it's so confusing and full of drama that you can't tell who's real and who's a perp. Now, on Facebook, they have people who, who are um, fake targeted individuals who are perps who lie on real targeted individuals and say that real targeted individuals are part of the order of the Eastern Star or that they're a fake T.I. perp and stuff like that. <clears throat> it's like you accuse, falsely accuse somebody of the very same thing that you're doing plus destroying their lives, you know. So... <clears throat> For the first two, for the first four or five days, I got a lot of love on Twitter. Seems like after Wednesday or Thursday, hardly anybody talks to me anymore. You know, and on Instagram, I, I'm a little active on there, but not all that much. But some black guy came in my, I mean, he commented on one of my videos and told me I need to lose weight. And then, um... He told me I need to lose weight and fast, do fasting. And then he mentioned something about me being a sister or something, or a family or something. I don't remember what it was he said. But then I looked, he wasn't even following me. But then he was posting about, you know, fighting against the government and the type of stuff that fights against the government and stuff. But you come in my, I'm new on Instagram, and you come there just to make an insulting remark about my weight. And then you're not even following me, you know? So I blocked him. <clears throat> um, so um, this morning, I woke up to a comment on one of my YouTube videos, a lady named Karen Shaw. Yeah, Karen. Karen. So Karen Shaw posted a comment on one of my channels saying that, I'm not giving you any money, like as if I don't deserve it, you know. She's saying, I'm not giving you any money because Charles Dermarovingian, who is the vice handler, and Alex Dupree, the, gang, the crazy guy who stalks and follows me, how the hell they link up together if, if, um, how does Alex link up with the vice handler guy if he's supposedly way in Scotland? You know, um, and that's what somebody said. He lives in Scotland. Him, Alex, and the star bricker, stars 15K, and now this Karen lady. How convenient, Karen, huh? Now they're all, and probably a few others, they're all working together. So, I have not yet seen the Facebook comments about me, you know, but... A lot of the real targeted individuals are being slandered, and yeah, if it's online, I guess it's considered a libel, huh? So where's our right to sue them and punish them? Yeah, I fucking thought so. Crickets, quiet. So <clears throat> this lady come and say, <clears throat> Alex Dupree and Charles Demirovingian said that you uh, <clears throat> take people's money and waste you 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 waste the, the money that people donate to you you know and 
It's like, but I would have been wrong if I, and I did just straight block her. I mean, there's a block button you can use for when people harass you online, but you can't block them in person. There's no block button in person, you know. So, but if you block somebody and they know, they know you blocked them, then they create a new account to harass you. <clears throat> or they stalk and spy on you online when, you know, when they can't access you. <clears throat> and so, um, I'm, it's like as if I don't deserve to be helped. As if I deserve to be punished. All right. It is triggering for me and upsetting when narcissistic abusers always try to tell me, you know, ignore, ignore him. You know, so the more I get upset, the more they keep saying, the more they keep doing it. So, you're telling me to ignore the person, but then you're saying ignore them on purpose to trigger me and make me mad. So, they had this guy who claims to be targeted, and he just sent the comment on my um, YouTube this channel this morning telling me about Ella Free being fake. And then he said that, I don't remember what else he said about her, uh, and... um. Which I heard other people say Ella Free is fake too. That whoever's all the leaders like Ramola D reports Ella Free, Brian too, um, <clears throat> Catherine, Dr. Catherine Horton, <coughs> that they're all fake. So, I mean, they're the leaders who have a lot of popularity. They have a lot of popularity and um, they're all, you know, called fake. I know Michael Barton was in the military, but a lot of people say that Michael. A lot of people say Michael Barton has a bad attitude and stuck up and has been rude to them. You know, I guess a lot of real targeted individuals who are trying to seek help. You know, so um, it's like he's one of the popular ones too. So I mean, it's like. I guess it's a hierarchy of elitism in the targeted individual community where you have to be the one of the popular ones who's driving a nice car and say that you need your car fixed and you put up a GoFundMe or Cash App or whatever or PayPal and the loads of people donate to you, you know, because you just need your car fixed. Well, if you can need your car fixed, how come I can't need a car? How come I can't need a house? If people can need their house fixed, how come I can't need a house, period? That I don't need anything. I deserve to rot on the streets as a punishment. So anyway, back to the, what I'm saying. The guy was telling me to ignore, you know, the perps or whatever. He had only 13 subscribers on YouTube and three videos. And his last sentence was, ignore them like in all caps so guess what i did i blocked him too because you ain't gonna tell me to freaking ignore the gang stalkers or ignore the perps while you sitting there fighting for your so-called rights too and yeah i say so-called because if then if i don't have rights then you, sh you you shouldn't have any more rights or be superior to me either you know Everybody's protesting and speaking out against their experiences on Facebook and YouTube, but I'm supposed to just fucking zip it and just fucking suffer. It's like y'all asking for me to suicide. It's like y'all want me to fucking commit suicide. Just bottle up everything and then just stay silent and then just go and hop off a fucking bridge somewhere. Is that what y'all fucking want? But I'm not going to do it though. When you keep on saying ignore, ignore, ignore... <sighs> <clears throat> all these people talking about the electronic rape, you tell me ignore that too. The noise harassment and the noise campaign, I mean the noise campaign, you tell me ignore that too. You tell me to freaking ignore um, them cheating me out my food and giving me a literal half a cup of soda. Well, I don't drink soda anyway. I meant to say half a cup of juice or if you they give me a half a bowl of grits. You th give me thumbs down. And judge and condemn me like fuck, like you think you're fucking God or something. 
Like you really think you're God, that thumbs down is supposed to be to judge and punish me. You know? Like, who, as I said, whose fucking side are you on? Because if you were really targeted, you would not be. I think all these people who try to tell me ignore the purpose, ignore the game stalkers, or they try to tell me what I need to focus on. And try to act like they're psychologically and mentally and spiritually trying to fix me like a narcissistic abuser. How the hell are you going to tell me to ignore the gang stalkers and then I'm talking on the phone for, with you for a while and then after a while then you start to act like a perp. You want me to shut down my YouTube channel. You don't want me to write my books. And if I write my books, then you want to freaking, um, if, if I try to write my books, then you want to say my abusers and perps have a right to sue me just for, um... Just for me showing proof of their Masonic affiliation. It's like, <clears throat> whether it's electronic rape or physical rape, you shut me out and ignore me about that too. Y'all ignoring me. Like, as if I don't have any value or importance. Only certain people in a targeted individual, and it's mainly fakes. The fakes and phonies who get the most attention and recognition, honor, and respect. But the real ones who truly fucking suffering. And then y'all think my suffering ain't, ain't all that bad because you feel like I'm in stage one. Well, you feel like I'm in stage one, but I read the, some of the symptoms. I have a little bit of every stage. You know, how the fuck am I supposed to ignore... You know, when I feel like I'm having a heart attack, I haven't slept, I mean, been totally sleep deprived for 18 days. Then the paramedics refuse to help you and they act like a perp, <clears throat> falsely accuse you of something you didn't do. I mean, and threaten, I mean, they make a threat to have you rest, arrested and try to and falsely accuse you of using violence towards them when you haven't. Or if I'm having a Tourette's episode and they falsely accuse me of intentionally trying to hit them. And then they criminalize me and treat me a certain way and be just very abusive in the hospital. And then they try to lie and say, oh, well, you had the best, you had the best EKG we've seen all day. You know? So, you know... It's like the Qatari individual community is the number one mind fuck fest of the world. Like, if targeted people are all supposed to be 144,000. I have, it's like that can be um, debunked right then and there. Because you're not going to be targeted and be a new ager or an occultist. Or part of the fake black Hebrew Israelites cult or sacred namer, and you know, think you're part of 144,000. You know, or you're not gonna be a fake TI perp like Olga Lincoln and plaster herself like she's so included and important in the fucking targeted individual community. <clears throat> And um, she's been abusive to me and a few other um, targeted individuals and narcissistic. So I had to cut them off, you know. So it's like people, as I said, people ask, why is nobody helping me? Nobody, why does nobody want to help me? <clears throat> you know, that I'm going to be on the streets tonight. Targeted individual or not, y'all know the homeless, street homeless reputation for being, um, you know, raped and beaten, and especially if you're a female, or, you know, kidnapped, um, and, and I mean, I heard about, you know, other targeted individuals being tortured, raped, and beaten, and all that, and it's like, everybody's, I mean, don't speak about your experiences or your tortures, if I'm not allowed to speak against mine, you know, just because it's psychological and mental, that's just as, you know, they say psychological and mental scars are worse than the physical ones. So if 
one headlight or color harassment is part of your conspiracy, part of your murder. <sighs> How you gonna tell me ignore everybody, but then you say I'm not a real targeted person because all I do is talk and I don't never um, expose anything, which I do. You see a lot of it. That's like me fl flashing my um, high school diploma in your face and you still tell me, oh, you didn't graduate. Or like you show proof of evidence of being raped in court and the judge throw it out and laugh in your face. When you know you're telling all the truth. Oh, they're lying. So that's not sufficient evidence. <sighs> it's like we can't go to the courts. We can't. I mean, why the hell should we run to our oppressors? And they say, but still do it anyway. Still go to a psychiatrist. Go take your medicine. <laughs> They say, um, go, go report it to the police, go to court, go file a lawsuit, go to the FBI, go to the UN, go talk to Donald Trump. None of that. I mean, why? They all oppress us. Why should we cry to our oppressors begging them for help? We can't even help each other. In the we should listen to each other's cries in the target individual community, no matter how big or small. Because we, I mean, if you want to save, not necessarily me, but save somebody else, I mean, there's some other targeted individuals to be telling me that they want to commit suicide, that they want to kill themselves. And I can just beg them not to do it and then pray for them because, and, and also try to get them to the gospel without being forceful or anything, but just, you know, present it to them. And then, you know, if they say, and some people who told me from other countries like Spain and Stuff like, or Italy, that say they want to kill themselves. And, you know, I don't know how I can report that. And then next thing you know, I, don't, I haven't heard from them in a long time. You know, but me, you know, I'm trying to stick with the Bible. Trying to fight every day is a battle to not want to give up. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm tired of everybody saying, just ignore, ignore. And when people try to say, so, like, when growing up as a teenager and a child, when everybody tried to say I was crazy and stuff, they said, oh, just ignore her. Oh, just ignore Candy. Just ignore Candy. Like, ignore me. And when you tell people to ignore me, it's, still, it's to condemn me like I'm the bad one. When you tell me to ignore somebody, you, 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 you'll say, make it like I'm still the bad one for not ignoring them. You know, no matter what, either way, you tell somebody to ignore me, you tell me to ignore somebody, I'm still the one who looks bad. You know, and they say it in a way supportive to other people, but when it comes to me, it's, they say it in a way that's con wait, condescending and condemning me. You know, so it's making me more depressed. I've been feeling really depressed. Um, how the hell y'all ought to go tell the innocent people who are just obeying the handlers. Tell them stop listening to, tell them to, who's going to tell somebody else, tell the perps, the people who give me the cat half a cup of grits, listening to Alex, the Satanist, the gay Satanist, who's going to tell th that person, who's going to tell that person to, um, ignore, ignore him, don't ignore him and give her the grit, the amount of grits that she's supposed to have, D don't, don't, um, cheat her out of her grits, nope, ain't nobody going to come to my side and defend me. You know, so, <clears throat> I mean, the, and it's like everybody's fucking ignoring me now, like as if I'm lower than human, but you targeted too, and then you, you targeted, but you purpose somebody else. Again, whose side you on? <sighs>